Hi, I'm Clemens. I'm Jürgen. And today we want to show you the influence on build-ups on the radar technology. And why our 80 GHz radar sensor for solids, the Vega Pulse 69, has no problems with build-up. We have mounted here a radar sensor with 26 GHz upside down. At the moment we are measuring the top of this room. And we can see a very nice echo curve, very nice signal and nearly no disturbance. The same we have here, Vega Pulse 69 measuring up to the roof. Also here the live echo curve looks very clear, nice signal. To demonstrate some build-ups, we are using some carbon coupled box and uh, this gives nearly no reflection and so we can put some build-ups on this box and show what happens when we have some cement for example here. Okay, this is a strong build-up made of cement, typical if I want to measure a level in a cement silo. And we can see here clear damping of the signal and the false reflection in the near range because we get also, get also a signal from this reflection. If we have some condensation in the silo, we have even more reflection because we will have a high humidity on this cement and so the signal will be worse. We have a reduction of the signal and the increasing signal in the near range. So the same build-up we put in front of the Vega Pulse 69 and have a look on the echo curve. What we can see is that we get a smaller product signal because we get damping when the microwaves are going through the build-up, but we don't see the fault signals in the near range. So this sensor has only one signal to measure and this is a really reliable measurement even with this kind of build-up. So what happens when we have different materials? For example, we can show you what happens with sugar. Again, this cardboard. We put some sugar on this cardboard here. So even here we have a very nice signal from the product but still this damping in the near range, so still we have a false reflection. And this can cause problems when we're coming closer to the sensor with the level of the product. Let's test the sugar with the Vega Pulse 69. Also here on the echo curve, you see a slight damping of the signal, but there are no false reflections and false signals in the near range. So this is a really reliable measurement. So what happens when we have more build-ups? So we want to demonstrate this with a complete package of sugar just in front of the antenna, I have a strong damping and more critical, the reflection in the near range that we have multiple reflections of the sugar, so it's very difficult to measure close to the sensor. So like, make this test with the Vega Pulse 69. One pack of sugar directly in front of the antenna. You can see on the echo curve, the sensor is still measuring the distance to the top and there are no false reflections coming from one pack of sugar. So maybe from two pack of sugar, but also here, if you look on the echo curve, there's no changing, only the echo of the level is getting smaller. So we're taking three pack of sugars. Also, no false reflections at the front. One more? One more, yeah. So we have now four pack of sugars in front of the sensor. We still have a product echo and we have no false reflection at any range. So this is really reliable. In real application, this means that you have a much higher reliability, especially in the near range. Vega Pulse 69, the perfect sensor for build-up in your application. <laughs>